Do you think a guy that's marriage minded himself would want his bride to be at the club? I've gotcha, probably bitch. been about four times this year. It's not like a huge thing. Yeah. It's been for occasions like. Okay, it's not a huge said. thing to you, but do you think a man that's marriage minded would think it's a huge thing to him? Well, then that's not my not line. line. Interesting. <laughs> Choose if he doesn't like what I'm doing, then she chose a yeah. club over a man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. God God damn. Yeah. okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, Maybe the clubs are different over here. Yeah, yeah the clubs in England are very different. <laughs> yeah. No, we've been to England. No, we know, we know, we know like, what it is over there too. Yeah, we've been to it's easier uh, to May, separate Mayfair, though. We've been to the other stuff. That's fine. Okay. So he, he, if he's not willing to accept you going to the club, shaking your ass. Um, He's not the man for you. Okay, fine. Yeah. And if you? he sees me in a club, he will be absolutely fine with that. Yeah, 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 I agree. He would see me in a club and probably laugh at me. Why are you even there? You can just watch this like... on YouTube. <laughs> it's very interesting. Okay, what about you? You think it's appropriate? Why do you think so? Yeah, because I feel like Merch. I'll, like I'll let my man go out and like do his thing, and like I've got full trust in him, so he should have full trust in me. If I want to go out with my girls and have a dance, have a few drinks, and, we'll go, and I'm coming home to him, there's no issues. It's the same thing like. If he wants to go out with his boys or go on like a lad's holiday, they want to go to Vegas, they that. I'm not going to be texting him, kicking off. Like, go have your fun because I know that you're loyal to me. Even if your, guy, your, your guys want to go speak to girls, that's fine. But I've got trust in you and that's, you should have that trust in a relationship. Otherwise, what's think, the point? Do you why, think, should you, um, why should you, why should you um, make your relationship on the fact of just being able to go to a club or not? It's because not about, like, that's like, you, that makes me feel like you're insecure if you think that I'm going to cheat on you uh, in the club. Oh, no, well, right. then you think you think less of me. So. Yeah, who are you? I'm not, not going to sit here and worry about whether you're going to cheat because I know I'll be good if you do. Like, <laughs> you do you, Bez. If you cheat, you're fucked up. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll be pissed. Losing them. I'm going to get you, my hair done. Yeah, so, yeah. I would just say, like, okay, <laughs> what's a food that you don't like? Like, what kind of food you don't like? Sushi. So let's <laughs> say, right, mm. your boyfriend obviously knows you very well. Mm -hmm. So you know what, babe? I feel like eating sushi today so you should too. How would you feel? Mm, if he really wants me to try it, then I'll try it. I'll probably gag on it, but I would try it for him <laughs> if I like it. You don't like it, right? Yeah, I don't like it, but I don't think sushi's so compared be, to going to a club. So to be respectful, once yeah, again. Yeah, like if he asked me like not to go, mm -hmm. and it was a mutual thing, and like I respected like what he was saying because obviously he's my man, then yeah. But I feel like if we're going in a relationship together, we should have trust in each other to not have to even have that conversation. But can you imagine, though, most guys don't like or yeah. want their girl to be in the club, though? Yeah, yeah then maybe, he better not so be then in why the still club do it? either. Yeah, but I'm not going to, I'm saying I'm not going to be with an insecure man that would think that way. I'm going to think, I'm going to be with a man that wants to be like, oh my God, my like girl's a goddess and like, I have full trust in her. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm upset. not with Plus, him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you I okay. want to ask you this. Um, do you think men and women are equal? No. 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 Okay. No. Would you agree that men and women are vastly different? Yeah. Yes. So yeah. would it be fair to say that a man's experience at a nightclub and a woman's experience at a nightclub are vastly different as well? Yeah, yes. men are more thirsty than women. Fair enough. You thank you for proof. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is almost too No, but, but men are more thirsty than women, but it doesn't mean that we're going to allow I that. I completely understand that, but because you were, because you said the reason why you think it's appropriate is because you would also be okay with your guy going to the club. So what I'm asking is that do you think he's going to have the same amount of sexual opportunity with the opposite gender that you would have when you go to the club? Yeah. Have yeah. You seen yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, yeah. because I feel no. like men approach women more than more women. Not women. Not yeah. 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 Hold, on, hold on. I'm asking her. Do you oh, think that baby. your guy that you are with Let's say he's devilishly good looking. Do you yeah. honestly think he's going to have the same amount of sexual opportunities going to a nightclub that you would have? Yeah, if he's like devilishly good looking, then yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> so There's, we found the root cause of why she thinks that way. There no, but I just feel like if like even in the UK does. though, but it's the about club being scene secure. is kind of similar here. It's about being there's, secure. There's tables. There's VIP sections. As a guy, you don't get invited to the table. A bunch of girls saying, "Oh, cut my table." <laughs> to be honest, we don't really like have like tables like that. Like you just go to the club and the you just dance. Yeah, but like that's like not everyone. Do you also it? agree with your friend's train of thought that like a man is going to have the same amount of sexual opportunity with the opposite gender yeah. at a nightclub? Yeah. Okay. Dude, that's and even if it's not that's through being at the club, it's through being active on social media at yeah. the club because it's a huge thing. I don't know, obviously. Yeah. Okay, do you think a man has the same amount of opportunity uh, sexually on social media that a woman has? Yes. Okay. What about uh, what about you? Um, you said that it's okay to go to the club as well. Why do you think so? 
I think that it's okay, especially if you're going together. I think that it's okay to go to the club. In this scenario, um, you're not going together. If you're not, yeah, I would say that it's still okay as long as you're not out there doing anything. I go to the club all the time by myself. I'm not out there looking to find anybody. I'm looking out there to go to section, get drunk, who and section? go home. Are you paying for yeah, section? Who controls no, the sections? No, I go to a promoter section. Oh, <laughs> but who, I'm not who's like paying for it. I don't know who pay for it. Whoever they getting paid to find girls to come to the section. Okay, so. <laughs> Understand, but we're not talking about when you're single. We're talking about when you have a guy. Do you uh, think? Uh, do you think it's appropriate for you to go to the club by yourself and sit in a promoter section, which is paid by men, by the way? But you know, like in the promoter sessions, it'd be like ten, fifteen girls. Like, and what you're happens? Not really even talking to them. Guys come to the section to entertain you guys. Oh no, baby! I'm entertaining myself. I'm, I'm all. Yeah. I'm by myself. Yo, Charlie, period. Come get this girl, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't okay. know. And also, I think that for your man to go to the club, I've seen plenty of men in sections. Like just from afar, I've seen plenty of men that go out to the club and they don't talk to anybody. Like they'll be standing there or they'll be with their friends. They're not talking to females. So if you trust your man and he's not insecure, you're not insecure. I don't see a point why y'all both can't go to the club as long as you're not out there doing anything. Okay. Insecure, right? <laughs> she also yeah, made the insecure argument. Okay. Uh, what about you? Why do you think it's okay for you to go to the club? I think that every relationship has a foundation, and I think if that foundation is strong enough, then, you know, you're not going to be insecure in the relationship. And, like, you know, if your girl goes to the club and, like, someone says hi, and she's like, hey, what's up? Like, someone that she knows, you know, like a bouncer or something, you know, he's not going to get mad. Like, obviously, she doesn't want his dick. She wants your dick. She's not going to fucking go to the club and, like, you know, see all these guys and be like, oh, my God, I'm in heaven. No, she's going to keep to herself, hang with her friends, mind her business. I go to the club alone. Not a single time have I let a man touch me or talk to me. I'm myself, and so I can vibe out myself. In a corner? <laughs> no, I <laughs> I like meet the other girls. I like make friends. <laughs> I like dance to the DJ. Like it's fun. Like I get a little bit tipsy, but I like Who I'm fully in control of Who myself. Who drinks? I've never gotten a drink bought for me by a man other than like a table. That but I don't cap. know who that is. I don't know who that is. It's Rum. not like someone Who buys taking tables. Men. Men. <laughs> so therefore, but they're not men talking drink. to me. They're not talking to me though. Exactly. Okay, uh, this is you. a very interesting thing. Um, all the girls that are in favor of going to the club when they have a significant other at home cited insecurity. Let me ask you guys a question. Who is more secure? Someone who tells you the truth regardless of the outcome or someone who's scared to tell you the truth because they're scared of the outcome? True. Someone who tells you the truth no matter the outcome. What about you? Someone who tells you the truth. True. I don't even understand the question. Sorry. <laughs> the question is... <laughs> Sorry. Who's more insecure, the person that tells you the truth regardless of the outcome, or the person that's scared to tell you the truth because oh, of the who's outcome? Who's more insecure, the person who more doesn't insecure. tell the truth, the person that doesn't tell yeah. the truth? Okay. Oh yeah, sorry, I thought you said more secure. More insecure. Who's more insecure? Oh, Personally insecure. Lies. Who's at, who's the insecure one? The lying. The person the lying. 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 Yeah. 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 Fantastic. So what if I told you that a staggering majority of men would have a serious issue with you going to the nightclub? Talk to me. And they're actually the ones that are really insecure because they don't want to tell you the truth because they're scared of how you're going to respond because you guys are going to say the things you guys just said. Oh, you're insecure if you don't trust me to go to the club. But if a man tells you, I don't want you to go to the club because X, Y, Z, or... I would never explain. call him insecure if he explains himself. You, you literally yeah. decided no, that if as an you, example. If though. you talk to me and you explain to me why, we can talk about it and we can have a conversation and we can see both sides of it and that's fine and we can come to middle ground. But at the end of the day, you're not going to stop me <laughs> from living a separate life sometimes. Okay. I'm not saying that separate life means that I cheat on you, but it means that I have my friends, you have your friends, and we have our own boundaries in our relationship. Interesting. But we can come together as one. Okay, so he has to have the conversation with you. I mean, I'm, I'm even going to, to be honest with you, I'm going a step further by saying that he even has to has, have the conversation with you. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you this then. What if um, you were out with your guy, right? And you were going, you know, going for a walk. And you're walking with your purse, you know, everything's all good. And then some fucking guy just comes up behind you, grabs your ass, steals your purse and runs away. <laughs> I probably... Hold on, hold on, stop. Think for, let me give the full scenario before you respond. Then, in one scenario, you tell him, you have to tell him, hey, go chase that guy down and get my purse back for me. Or in the second scenario, he just chased the guy down, beats his ass, and gets your purse back for you. What's more attractive? He better go chase wait, wait, wait. him. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. for her. Yeah. Can you repeat? 
the like yeah because you chasing. were too busy trying to respond versus <laughs> listening i actually was listening no you weren't because you wouldn't need me to respond to it. you wouldn't need me to repeat it if you were listening i'm not gonna argue with you just i can you repeat that one more time exactly you weren't listening so what i'm saying is this oh. Assi- yeah li- pay attention okay stop interrupting what i'm saying is this it's very simple you're walking with your guy you have your purse some random guy comes up from behind you grabs your ass steals a purse and runs away Two responses. Either A, you tell him, go chase him down and get my purse back. And you have to tell him that, by the way, because he's just standing like, oh, my God, what do I do? <laughs> or B, he chases after the guy, gets your purse back and whoops his ass. Which one is more attractive? He doesn't need to whoop his ass, but get my purse back. Second okay. scenario. But so that he you didn't have to say anything, right? What about you? He need to go get him and get my purse. Fantastic. What about you? I know the point that you're going to try and say. <laughs> <laughs> Answer the question. Um, well, obviously... Obviously, you want your man to be a man, have initiative, um, okay. but that doesn't mean that he can, has to be silent and not have to talk to you to have initiative. Anyway, what about you? I feel like that's part of a duty, not part of a choice. It's part of a duty? Yeah. Well, even better. Oh, that's even yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Very good word. Uh, what about you? What would you want him to do? Would Me? you want him to chase that? Guy to down chase or? the guy down or if not I'll go chase the guy down so <laughs> let me ask you this <laughs> let me, let me ask you this why is it that the man is expected to do what he's supposed to do right but if a man is with a woman she's supposed to do whatever she wants to do and even if he has the conversation he'd be called he could be told he's insecure why do we have to tell women to be ladies and stay at home when they have a man at home? Because what is that might be a lady for staying at home? Yes, and that's, it's, it's... We're a, not in an old not generation going, anymore. Not going that's well, what we're in. old generation. They're hold not, on, hold on, hold on. Stop the show. <laughs> so, in one end, you want the man to be traditional and chase down the fucking guy and put his life on the line to get your purse back and exercise chivalry, but you don't want to go ahead and reciprocate and stay your ass at home for him? Yeah, Explain that to me. You want a traditional man, but you don't want to be a traditional woman. No, I'm okay. being a this generation woman, working hard. I'll also go and chase that man down. She would. She I would. actually would. I would too. Like, I, I would do too. boxing. I would. So you, so you fight <laughs> men? I would. I have. So my this time. Okay. Actually do you honestly me. think that you would have an ability to fight off a man? I'd give it a go. <laughs> give it a go. <laughs> I have, and I do my best. Hey, look, hey, look, look this is what I mean. Like, the, see, do you, do you guys see the ridiculous, ridiculousness of what you guys are saying? Like, on one end, you want your man to be a gentleman and adhere tra- to traditional values, but you're not willing to give back traditional values to him. Is that a fair trade for the man? <laughs> no. Obviously, no. I'm not saying you need to be fully 100 percent traditional, but I'm also saying that you know, you know, I'm not going to sit at home for you. Mm. I'm not going to stop. But he's my expected whole to life. chase an attacker for you. That is so different. That is so different. Than mm-hmm. telling a woman to just sit on her ass at home. Yeah, it's more dangerous Absolutely for him. Not. So. Well, I will, I will do home, dangerous so. things for him, yeah. but I'm not like down what? to just sit at home. <laughs> what, what do you need? Do what do you him? want? What do you need? What do you want? I'll do it. What are you gonna do dangerous for him? Tell I don't me. know. What do you What do you need? What do you want? <laughs> You're the one that made the claim, so back it up. What would you do dangerous for him? Let's hear it. What? It, what is Harry he a want? child? Literally. Comes with danger. In 2023, less than like 2% of uh, childbirths end in death. Come on, man. No, but I feel like as a woman. Uh, uh, Listen, you guys finish your point and then I'll say what I got to say. I feel like as as a woman, if I'm cooking and I'm cleaning and uh, he has a home and he has everything he needs, if I want to go and have a dance with my friends, I'm going to go and have a dance with my friends. Mm. If he has everything he needs and I have everything I need, I'm allowed to spend time with my friends. And if that evening means going to a club, I'm going to go well, you're missing, sh- shite my ass for 10 minutes. You're and missing be home a key component 11. of what men need. Do you think men, do men ask for much from women? No. no. They don't, sometimes, right? Sometimes. Sometimes yeah, they do. Yeah. Okay, sometimes. Do men ask for as much as women ask for then? No. no. In comparison no. to females, do we no. ask for much? No, no. Okay. not at all. So if a guy tells you, hey, cook clean and stay at home so I know that, you know, there aren't weirdos trying to grab at you at the club or whatever it may be, is that really that much to ask when you ask for way more from the man? So where where's my time then? Yeah, and what are we asking for? Because I don't know. I'm in where's control my of my life. life. It's my life, it's not yours. Hold on, stop. One second. Um... Because you said I'm giving him everything that he needs, and yeah. I'm arguing that you're not giving him every, everything he needs. Because a big thing that a man needs is to know that his girl isn't involved in activity that can compromise the relationship. Then come with me. Yeah. But my friends oh, are going. Well, that I also <laughs> talk to you the entire time I'm at the club. I Snapchat you videos. I that literally am on anything. my phone. Yo, do you mean? Yo, I like. That does not mean anything. We've been in the club before. Girls facing their boyfriend. Oh, babe, I love you. Miss you. 
and then come fuck with us. It's, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I've never done that. Crazy. You might not, but most, most a lot of girls do. Where yeah. do you get so those girls, not, you know? Where are you getting those girls? Right. I, just find it, I just find exactly. it very interesting how the girls that want to go to the club still expect their man to chase down an attacker and be a man. But when we ask you to be a lady at staying home, you guys are not willing to do that. And that's fine. But this is what I'm going to say. If you want to go to the club and be able to shake your ass and do what you want to do, cool. You don't deserve a man that's traditional. That's all I'm saying, because you're not <laughs> yeah. a traditional woman. Yeah. Like, it's not a I don't know, I like to stay You expect home. me to take care of you, pay the bills, protect for you, up. provide for you, etc. But yeah, you want to be able to reserve the right to go out and why do whatever you want. Why can't we do it okay, together? I, I why can't we pay the bills the scenario, together? The scenario, why can't we? Uh, that's not traditional. Everyone cry, these this day and age, the men are all crying that we don't pay our way and we're not not paying the bill, not doing this. I don't this think that. it has and then, to be like, this black and white. Yeah. Like, it doesn't. There's a whole gray area. Yeah. No, but I agree yeah, with you. It's like, I want you to be a stay-at-home mom, but I also want you to work and pay bills. Yeah. No, yeah, but, but it's sure so wrong way out while you watch it. Can't we, like, split the bills or something or go through them together? ladies, ladies, ladies. The majority of the women at the table and the majority of women in general absolutely want to be a stay-at-home mom. So what does that mean? That means that women in general don't want to be the majority uh, breadwinner. So just because you're willing to pay split bills doesn't mean most women are. And most women would prefer to not split bills and have the guy be the breadwinner. So cool. If you want a more equal relationship, that's fine. But what I've come to realize is that women say they want equality until they actually get it. Then they realize, damn, my man's a bitch. He's making me pay half. I'm not down with this. So... I mean, you can go ahead and have that egalitarian mindset, but it doesn't actually work in practice most of the time. But I agree with Sorry, you. Where well, you said, time. like, if you had a traditional man, then I, I would agree. I would stay home. If my man didn't want me to go to the club and he paid all the bills, and if he paid all the bills and he didn't want me to go to the club, and that was like we were married and he's a provider, then Notice, I wouldn't go to the club. He has to do so much just yeah, to get that just one Yeah, I ain't gonna home. go to the club. Wow. But if you die, if you're not wow. paying up, you're not paying no bills, <laughs> nothing, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do what I want, for sure. Marriage, pay the bills, be that yes. man. Be a leader. Because until just then, it, I don't feel like it's worth it. I feel like I sh I'm gonna go out and live my I'm best life. I'm not asking life. a man anything but respect. Oh and to no! Trust me. If I'm gonna make, like, I don't need your money. I don't need anything Absolutely. apart from your, like your time, your respect, and your trust. No, because if I got a man, if I and you if, have to earn my trust. If too. I got to pay bills, I don't need a man. I can just pay my own bills. <laughs> I mean, I would argue if Same. you want to go to the club and you're in a relationship, you don't deserve respect as a female. Ooh, I would argue true. that because that's valid. because it's <laughs> not like you want to go to the club and you know entertain Masagami. other men and be at a nightclub and be uh, you know where there's drugs and alcohol. There's a bunch of activity that can compromise the relationship. Clearly, you don't care that much, so why should I respect you? I do care, but I want to go to the club not for the men. There's yeah. other right, reasons to go out. Who you go to the club for the men? It's not just about oh, the men. Yeah, I can go this? to the club and not shake my ass. I can dance other oh, no, ways. Okay, some how about ass, this? But how about you, you know, get some neon lights, put in them in the, the garage, <laughs> put some music on, and dance in the garage? Okay. No, no you're, you're not in charge of We could do that. It's the vibe, right? Yeah, they're not doing all that. You better say Hold on, hold on, hold on. You just said a second ago, you said you're not in charge of my life. Well, if the guy's going to chase the dude down and get your purse back... I would back, chase the dude with him, but that was not an option. <laughs> I'll chase do you him actually with you. think you can physically yes, fight a man? Yes, I do, and how, I have done it once. How tall are you? Oh, I'm 5'2". <laughs> 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 I've done it, no. I swear. The man them. What man? Yes. Yes. I'm like, damn, who are you fighting? This, this is what I'm going to be. Like, yo, I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to be an asshole but this is what i mean when i say women are delusional like you guys are actually talking about you would physically try to fight a man like obviously i'm <laughs> kidding but as soon as i open That's my mouth and start yelling he gets scared i'm not saying i want to fight a man but if a man's like on the street trying to attack me you best yeah. believe that i'm gonna make a scenario. fight for his That's life different. that okay. wasn't the scenario in the uk right yeah there's a lot of chefing going on yeah do you think you can fight <laughs> a man with a knife stabbing yeah well, stabbing <laughs> you can fight a man off with a knife well no i'm gonna do it <laughs> Bro. Bro, she, wouldn't even, no, she wouldn't even be able to fight a man off if she had a knife. <laughs> you don't know that. Yeah, I know you wouldn't be able to. Look, I, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but like women are physically inferior to men. Let's take this outside. Yes, this is okay. 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 physically and inferior. inferior I don't be be in to pay no bills. Oh, I agree with that. But that's like, so random. I know, but like women and men, like they're built differently. Men are that's stronger why if we than women. Why would men feel like we had to pay bills with them? Like we're inferior. Like I can't believe that. I even have 
to have this conversation about human physiology between men and women where you guys no, I know. Give it a try, but I know I'm going to lose. I'm it's like, strong. it's fine. Oh, God. You would lose. You would lose. You got, Are you guys aware that like even a teenage boy would absolutely yeah. 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 I'm yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm not I'm not No, you are. Because you said you'd fight a guy. I would, I would but I know oh. I'm going to lose. You might lose. So don't but fight him. Don't get hurt. You're too pretty to get hurt. Do not fight a man. I'm sure you have more handbags at home. You'll be fine. I'm the perfect, like... Ball we'll move like on to the next question. Hopefully, uh, that, that never happens. We'll move on to the next question. Hopefully. This is uh, this is very uh, interesting. We got a bunch of chats here by this. So let's uh, play through okay, these. I'll fly through these. Shout out to F and F H Town one time, and that's from Eric from Texas. Uh, yes, Houston is in Texas, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, Hass, 10 no, no, bucks no, goes. No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. Uh, Clockworks, 50 bucks. Appreciate that. Um, Girl next to Fresh <laughs> has a horrible OnlyFans. I expose scammer OF models. Check my channel. No, out. only Sam's. The fuck only Sam? No, that's uh someone someone else. Oh, shout out to CO well, Network. Okay, well, clockwork. Wait, you. <laughs> wait, hold so on. So who were they talking Yo, about? Do you oh buy damn, it, bro? I'm a scammer. How do you know which has on there? Oh, <laughs> oh, you bought it. Thanks for the ten dollars. Yeah, that's L dog. Only fans, bro. You know, why buy the fans, bro? Better like on it, bro. Reddit. At least uh, clockwork for the females. Do y'all have guys in your friend zone? that you know would make a decent long-term guy for you, you're basically just keeping them around until you've had enough Chad Thundercock inquiring minds and such. <laughs> what's a, what's a Thundercock? Uh, you go back imagine. to that question. Yeah. You, never, you, you never had one? I know. Like a I don't know what that is. I feel sorry. You that might find out later. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> at the club. I'm at the club. I'm at the club. All right. Uh, uh, okay, let me, let me simplify the question. Okay. Do any of you guys have men in the friend zone right now? We'll say yes or no. No. No? Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. So you got a few. No. That's cut up. <laughs> why, y'all, why are you looking like that? You they're gay, guy, though. Does any... that count? I don't have no friends. If no. they're gay, does that mean friend zone? Do you have any guys that, like, want to get with you, but you just friend zone? No, zoned? I just moved here, and I don't, I don't I talk to anybody. I'm back in Georgia I only got my, my one man. It's my not her man. in Georgia. Exactly. <laughs> my man is not my man. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> do you have, only friend zone then, since that's not your man. How do you? Yeah, kind of. Do you have uh, one, my uh, a guy in a friend zone? Only one. No, I don't have male friends. You? No. You got a couple. Don't lie. No. 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 Her. She got. Oh a, no, I don't have any. I don't. I don't text back. So you don't have any. <laughs> so she does. But, yeah. Okay. What about you? I don't have any male friends. No. I do. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do any of the guys that you have in the friend zone as men, do you think any of them would be like good long term boyfriends? No, I will have tried. Or like maybe he's know. a nice guy, but he's just not attractive enough? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. What about you? You? The guys you don't text back, are any of them like good guys? Well, I would have texted them back, wouldn't I? Exactly. Well, too. it would be. I would have texted them back, wouldn't I? Well, I'm not talking about them being attractive. I'm talking about like they were nice guys. They'd be like a great boyfriend. They but haven't they just... had the chance for me to find out. <laughs> Okay. How would I know if I haven't gotten to know them? Well, they're your friends, aren't they? No. That's what I said. I don't text anyone. I don't have a fr- like, male friend. You don't have any male friends? No. I don't believe that. Um, okay, what about... You said you don't have any male friends either? <laughs> no, I've got male friends, but I absolutely would never get with them because Are, I know exactly what they're like. <laughs> that's so true. That's so true. Uh, I see exactly. the shit they do. I yeah. hear the shit so they do. And they, I, like, I, I, come I, back with <laughs> the guy talk. I, you hear it all. I've seen what's <laughs> been there, so no, yeah, thank no. you. Okay, <laughs> no. um, are any of them... Do you think any of them would make good long-term boyfriends? Maybe they're not that attractive, but they're nice guys. I tried that, and it didn't work out, so... I was asking her. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> None of them are nice guys? <laughs> They're nice guys, but not to girls in a long-term relationship, I imagine. Okay. Maybe, oh, they, so maybe, they, maybe they like them. So they get around then? Yeah, like, well, maybe they just, like, tell me that, but, like... Like Tyreek from Love Island? They, they get around? I mean, I didn't watch this season, but... Um, oh, you messed up, you messed up. I messed up, but, yeah, no, like, I've, I've seen the shit they do, I hear the shit they do. Okay. Good luck to those girls. Now it's all coming <laughs> full circle. Do you guys actually think men have the same amount of options as women sexually? When they, because you guys said earlier in the nightclub mm-hmm. you think they do, and then you said also on social media. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, okay. Okay. Like it's the twenty first century. Men, right. women, if they want to be accessible, they will be accessible. Yeah, women or men. Guys have got the chat as well. If they want to be accessible, they will be accessible, and they will put it straightforward. It's the twenty first century. Everyone's mm. acting equal these days. If we want it, we're going to go and get it. Yeah, and I feel like even if the guy is, like, not the best-looking guy, like, if he's got the chat, 
He's getting so many girls, getting especially on social secret. media, because they just have to text and just have With the With the hookup okay. culture, the guys are going to get the same. Big you, goggles. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, hold on. All right, this is amazing. <laughs> this is actually really interesting. How many of you actually think that, uh, agree with them three, that their guys are out here, like, getting girls and killing it, and they have as many options as women? No. Not no. Definitely not. Options. Raise the hands of women that agree with these three, that men have a lot of options, and are out here killing on social media with girls. Oh, hell no. Nobody else agrees? Just you no. three? <laughs> okay. Y'all ugly. <laughs> not not you, but she's yeah, I know what she's saying. Like they they, they swear like they have the talk but they just don't have the looks. But sometimes you don't know, like you gotta find that out yourself. Like So I you think, agree? You think that guys are out here killing it? No. Not There's all an of extra them. step in me- with men, but like they still if they go out and their end goal is to get pussy, they can mm-hmm. if they try hard enough. They have to try hard enough. They have to try hard enough. They still they try hard enough. The men have to try harder. Women have it easy. We can go out and get any dick on the street right now if we want to. Women think with Yes, men think with their dick, but that's not what he's asking He's asked you if you have the same opportunity. Men don't have the same opportunity. It depends on his status. And it's a different opportunity in a different way. Status. Status. <laughs> oh, Let me ask you a question. You think you think it's easy for a man to acquire status? No. No, no they gotta get some no. money first. Period. So, by <laughs> by definition, money. is it as easy for men to get laid as women then? No. I, try to no. I guess you're right. No, they don't. Oh no, baby. A <sighs> woman can men? get a uh, can get a man way easier than a, a man can get a woman any day. Period. Like if there's gonna be a race, <laughs> right? Let's see who can have sex first. Man or the woman, who's gonna win? A man gonna asking. win because men are opportunists. So any girl that come up to them that they could wow. get with, they gonna take yeah. it. But me, like you can have ten men come to you, but if they not the ten men you want, you'll deny it. But yeah. a man can have ten women come to them and they have ten bitches. So now they don't you know, take it it's just because they're opportunists. You just feel That's the question true. horribly, but okay. yeah, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> you but you I answer back to what you said earlier about like yeah. girls fall in love with what they hear. Yeah. So if a guy can chat you into bed, no, no you said if he can. Yeah. That's the big thing. If he can. Yeah, but it's if a but girl, I feel girl like can as get a with girl, a guy you ain't as well. Do much. If you say I want to get mm-hmm. fucked. Niggas are, are gonna do it. Exactly. But if the guy says, I wanna get fucked. Oh, and no. it's like, ew, no, now you're for everybody. Huh? Yeah, like, a man said he wanna get fucked. And then I'm looking like, oh, you for just everybody. You're just arguing the whole No, I'm just saying that, that, that it's easier for women to get a man than it is for a man to get a woman. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I thought yeah, you said the other right. thing. Yeah. I thought no, you said something. I didn't say that. I'm saying that women got more options than men. Okay, you just confused but me. But women are more picky than men. Yeah. That's what like she's saying. Like, a man isn't going to be as picky as a woman will be. Because we can be picky. Because we, got we have more our options. way. She just said it. Because you can be. Exactly. Guys can't be. They exactly. can only take what they can get. Yeah. You're just arguing that guys are desperate. No, <laughs> and you just argue that women are able to. I'm it's save easier for women. For when I get a man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the truth, though. Um. Yeah, no, I mean, I just find it very interesting that you guys were trying to argue that, you know, a guy can go to the nightclub. Because the whole reason why you guys made the argument that it's okay for me to go to the nightclub is because my guy can go to the nightclub and I wouldn't mind. But you make the cardinal mistake in not understanding that for a guy to go to a nightclub and get sexual access is way harder than it is for you. Yeah, but then you've also got the thing of that guys, when they go out, they're the ones paying and, and getting girls to be on their table. Girls but are also... the women going to sleep with them or hook up with them for just being because? at the table? No, but the girls can sleep with those guys not. just because they're on the table. Do you actually think the girls are going to sleep with those guys just because they have the table? No. But you're asking the same question. Do you think those guys Some think that they're going to get those girls just because they've paid for it? So it's the same the same way around. Why are they it's paying for the table? absolutely well, not the guys, same way guys, around. Guys, okay. Hold on, no, stop. It's absolutely not the same way around at all. The men had to spend thousands of dollars mm-hmm. to have women come into the section and they yeah. where there's a high likelihood that they might not even get sexual access. Yeah, but they're... they're You're going to go to the club tonight, correct? Yeah. Are you going to fuck the guys in the section? No. Incredible. But I'm saying I don't have to go to yeah, a section. I can get my know. own section. No, you can't. You're a mommy. You, you have won't. to go to a section. You're, you're missing the point of the conversation. A man is not going to be able to go to the club and command the same level of sexual access than a woman is. True. So therefore, since it's easy mode for women, it's an issue for most men for you go to the club when you're their girlfriend. Okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. But nine times to ten, though, these people that we've seen, like these promoters and stuff, like half the time they're ugly as hell. Like <laughs> they don't be get. My bad. Why are you <laughs> saying me? <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> promoter in the back. My bad, but I'm just saying though, a lot of them like they're not giving. All so right, it's keyword, kind of like, you said half the time, right? Yeah, but I what? never seen a five. Uh, well, 
What about, hold on, hold on. What about the other 50% where the promoter might be attractive or the other percentage where the guy that's run that's running the table is attractive? Maybe he's a high roller. Maybe he's a celebrity. Okay. That's true, but... And you don't I have mean, to get I with never them. had nobody have to get with them. You're, you're, find them attractive. you're forgetting. They also bring as well celebrity guests or, for example, guys that want tables to the section as well. Right. So it's only the promoter is also another guy as well at a table or many guys. Look, man, I'm telling you how men think. No guy... That's in a relationship with a woman wants his girl at the club. The reason why men don't say shit is because those those are the ones that are actually really insecure. The example I gave before, he's scared of what you're gonna say. Notice how I said, "Yo, a girl shouldn't be at the nightclub when she has a guy." Oh, that's insecure, misogynistic, toxic. They don't want to argue with you. They they just let you go. So yeah. do you feel like men are okay still going to the club? Men and women are not the same. Okay, so if I can't go to the that? club. Can yeah. y'all go to the club? If Absolutely. We, Hell yeah. So you can be around another thing. Be for real. Absolutely. The fuck? Be for real. The fuck? No, 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 no. Because, <laughs> hear me out, hear me out. Because, like I said, I could go to the club and hold on, hold on. Before, you, before you speak, Okay. think, and then make a stance, and then articulate your argument. I'm a, okay. Because you've been are, are contradicting yourself the entire no, night. No, I haven't. Y'all heard me wrong. I don't know what y'all heard, All but I said heard what I said. Okay. Oh, so everyone else at the table. You heard me right, though, didn't you? Exactly. So I don't know what the hell y'all heard. back, bro. And then you don't make sense. what we're talking about. No okay, but uh, Both man, of you. think before you speak, please. Ten folks to come talk to me, and I could not go for any of the ten folks. But one person could talk to my man or any man, and he gonna go for it just because that's the one person that done came to him at all day. Do you know how difficult it is for a guy to have a woman come up to him? Yeah. Are you aware that there's men out there that have never had a woman come up to them? Hold on, stop it up there for two folks. seconds and be quiet. Have you? Are you aware that there's guys that have never gotten a gift from a girl, never kissed a girl, never had sex with a girl, 30 plus years old, never even had a girl come talk to them, ever? Oh, so they tried, they, they sit in the basement playing Fortnite. You ain't got no money. <laughs> no, what you're failing to realize is that most men, unfortunately, just aren't attractive to most women. Most men are virtually invisible to most women. So guys don't have the same opportunities that you guys do. Oh, so but it only takes one, though, said, is what I'm saying. Shut up, Fortnite. It just take one girl to come <laughs> up to you. And you going for it. You have to be exceptionally good looking as a male for women to come up to you. You have to be within the top one percent. But you really don't have to be. What if you got money and now girls are coming up to you? And they just want to fuck just because you got money. But still, it just only take one. Is it easy to make money? (laughs) No. Shit, it all depends on what you're doing. That's what I'm trying to say when I say women are stupid a lot of the times. No offense. (laughs) With all due respect. But you guys grossly (laughs) underestimate what it takes to be attractive as a man. Oh, just be, girls are going to come up to you. Oh, just have some money. Oh, be attractive. You got to go to the gym. You got to groom yourself correctly. You got to dress correctly. You got to pay the entrance fee to go to the club. You have to have the charisma. You got to talk me into bed. Like, it's not easy for men to be attractive. Like, this is what I mean when I say women live life on easy mode. You guys are grossly unaware of what it takes for a man to be attractive. And I don't expect you to know. Yes, because we're But not y'all are delusional. Man. Like, you guys are literally delusional thinking, a guy has as much options on social media as a woman. Do you honestly think a guy has as many DMs in his Instagram as you guys do? No. Seriously? No. Okay, so, no. Common no. Sense? so if we've been stay-at-home mums for 10 years now, we've, we're looking like shit. We're not keeping ourselves. <laughs> are you going to go out and find a club chick? You can still maintain yourself being a step. Well, I'm not so much. Stay at home, mom. Have any of these no, guys no, got no, kids? No, but he's, ma- it's he's hard. making it out as though <laughs> though we don't have to do a lot to look well. Yeah, exactly. We, we have a lot. Of a lot of care. When I look up, I look like shit. <laughs> but men don't care. Look, look man, still, you can be an average looking woman and still get DM a celebrity and get a response. Yeah. Who? Yeah. What celebrity? I mean, Drake does it all the time. <laughs> Drake, Drake, like, wait, Drake. Where? Yeah, Drake. The fuck? Drake. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't. This is amazing that I even have to explain to you guys this that like sex for men and getting relationships and de- dealing with women is not the same as a woman dealing with a man. Like you guys, because <laughs> the girls that then think why it's do you okay. guys live somewhere well, for less than a month and already start fucking girls? What? What? Then, what? I'm Yo, just who saying. hurt you, man? Who hurt you? Nobody. Hurt you, man? I'm just <laughs> saying. Like, what do you mean? I, well, I don't even like, understand okay, that Like, as argument. a man, like, you move somewhere, right? And then you literally start fucking girls, like, within the month. Because girls come up to you, okay, girls you know talk what? to hold you. Hold on, hold on. Since it's so easy, what does a guy have to do to get laid? Explain. Go ahead. Go off. I have a very low body count, so I don't really know how to explain <laughs> it. Stop the cap. I actually, it, it no, is from the male perspective, what the, since you think like are there, he just fucking girls in a month and a half? What it does really, he have to do it to do depends. That? Like he has, like I don't know, like he has to dress nice, he has to look good, like he has to play with my head, he has to be sarcastic. Oh, like do you he think has these to, things like, are easy? Talk. I mean, it incredible. doesn't. It, don't they like? Incredible. Incredible. I mean, you have a low I'm body count. I'm not a man. So. Exactly. I'm not a I mean, you yourself, as the example, if you have a low body count, yeah. it's not that easy then. I'm sure many guys approach you on the streets. Probably not. So every guy would be like, 
give you a high body count if that was the case. I'm just not attracted to any of them. Like, ever. Exactly. Fuck. You cannot make this shit up, bro. You cannot make this shit up, bro. You can't make this shit up, bro. You cannot make this shit up, bro. You can't 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 make this shit up, bro. You